I woke up feeling like I was on the moon. I woke up feeling like I need a honey go. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. What is up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Welcome to Aim Small, Miss Small, the series where I get better along with you by watching some of my gameplay videos, breaking down game mechanics, and talking about different techniques and ways to practice. One topic you're going to hear me talk about a lot in this series is consistency. It's really one of the biggest differences between different levels of gamers, be it beginner, casual, enthusiast, professional, and the absolute very best. Professional StarCraft II player Flash is known to measure out the exact distance and placement of his keyboard, mouse, chair, and monitor at tournaments to ensure he's able to perform at his absolute best. He's quoted as saying, to be the best, you have to be perfect in every single way. Now, I don't expect everybody to do this in order to get better, but one thing I often try to do is look at different pro players and YouTubers and people who are better than me and see what I can grab from them, and consistency is definitely one thing he has. So one huge obstacle to consistency I've noticed in PC gaming is mouse acceleration. So what is mouse acceleration? Basically, it makes the distance your cursor travels on the screen a function of the velocity at which you move your mouse. Mouse. So why is this bad? It means that moving the same distance on your mouse pad will move your cursors different distances on the screen depending on how slow or fast that movement is made. For most people, this is really going to hinder your ability to get used to new sensitivities in games and quickly and accurately move to an exact desired spot on your screen. Now, this isn't necessarily bad for day to day tasks like surfing the web, especially if you have a high resolution screen. But in gaming, particularly Twitch shooters, which require a super high level of accuracy, it's really not optimal. While most of us have pretty good motor skills that allow for fairly good and precise 3D spatial movement, it can be much harder to adjust to be accurate in your speed of movement as well. Overall, mouse acceleration just adds another variable to the equation of accuracy and you just want to have as few variables as possible. What you really want is a one-to-one -one correlation between the distance you move your mouse and the number of pixels your cursor or crosshair moves on the screen. Now that correlation is dependent on a number of factors or coefficients such as your DPI and in-game sensitivity, but that's another very deep subject that we'll leave off for another video. So where does mouse acceleration come from? A number of places, the primary being your operating system on Windows. There's something called enhanced pointer precision, and we're going to use the Mark C mouse fix in a bit to get rid of that. When it comes to your mouse, the software and drivers can impart acceleration as well. This is pretty easy to turn off. Just search through your mouse software and find the setting and disable it. Sometimes there are in-game settings which can impart acceleration as well. If you see something called raw input, this tries to bypass the OS settings sometimes successfully, sometimes not so much, but you'll want to have this checked. Sometimes you'll see something listed as mouse acceleration and you'll want to have that turned off. And your hardware, some different sensors can actually have some acceleration inherently built into them, in which case you'll have to just switch your mouse and do a little bit of research on a mouse which doesn't. So in terms of getting rid of mouse acceleration in Windows, there's a really common fix that most serious gamers are gonna be using on PC, and it's called the Mark C Windows Mouse Acceleration Fix. I have links to that in the description below. This is essentially a registry edit which disables pointer acceleration in Windows 7, 8, and 10 to allow you to get that one-to-one -one mouse to pointer movement and hopefully help out your consistency. There are pretty concise and detailed descriptions on the website and in the readme for the fix. Here I'm taking you through setting it up on my PC, First, you'll want to download the zip and extract it to a folder. Next, pop open the control panel and search for mouse and then open change mouse settings and go to the pointer options tab. In here, you want to make sure that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked and that your pointer speed is in the middle or sixth position. Hit apply then OK. Next, go back to the control panel so you can find out your Windows DPI setting. Go ahead and search for display and then select make text and other items larger or smaller. Here you'll need to take note of the size slash percentage you have selected. And if you change this in the future, you'll need to redo this part of the fix. This can be a little tricky on different versions of Windows. It might be three radio buttons for you to select or it might be a slider. The fix premium actually has instructions for what percentage corresponds to what slider positions. So after you've noted that, go to the extracted mark C fix folder and open up the folder that matches the version of Windows you currently have. 
Then you're gonna select the regedit file, which corresponds to the DPI percentage you noted before and double click it to open. Note that you can preview or open the registry file in a text editor to see what settings you're actually changing if you're a little worried. Then you wanna press okay to make the registry change and voila, you now have one to one mouse to cursor movement. One very telling test you can do is use the included mouse movement recorder.exe file which shows you how your input is being translated into cursor movement on screen. You can do this before you go ahead and do the registry edit and anytime you see green or red, that means you're not getting one-to-one -one input. You can also do this when you have a particular game launch to see what type of acceleration it might have turned on or in your mouse software, or you can turn on the enhanced pointer setting in Windows just to see what type of effect it has. But that is it. Your next step is to just go practice, play as many games as you want. I've got links to a couple little mouse activities you can do in order to kind of increase your proficiency with a mouse, especially if you're moving over from console, this can be a little difficult. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Go ahead and give that thumbs up button a flick of the list if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys wanna see in future videos. I got some stuff planned out, but I always like your guys' input as to what I'm gonna have on the channel. Be sure to follow me on all your favorite social media sites in order to get more frequent updates on what I have going on in terms of hardware and different gameplays and what I'm playing and all that kind of stuff. Check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you bookmark it, you can support the channel when you buy stuff on Amazon like Mike and Ike's. That is it for this video. See you guys later. Peace out.